Hello everybody, it's Baser Base, and welcome to a Reckon Tutorial. Today we will be going over game passes and how you can make them. So as a disclaimer, before we get right into it, you do need Reckon Plus to put a price on game passes or any object in your room. Because it requires a key. If you do not know what a key is or where to find keys, go to your watch menu, open this room, go to your room settings, which is the gear, go to your top category selection, select keys. If you have Reckon Plus, this is what you would see. If you do not have Reckon Plus, it would tell you to get Reckon Plus because it's required, unfortunately. So, let's get right into it. Over here, we have two game passes, VIP, Fly. You can use VIP for many things such as a VIP area and you can also use Fly to uh, Fly. So just as an example, I'll show you how Fly works. So, as you can see, I can't fly right now. However, if I grab on to fly, and I fly up, you can see, works. So, I'll show you the things you will first need. So, for chips, you will... It, um, I'm using CB1, because as of right now, I don't think that there's any issues with CB1. I know every now and then there's some issues with CB2, but like not major issues. But I feel like CB1 is better for something in this scenario. So the chips you'll need are two roll mapper chips. Let's just put them apart like that. Two roll chips. And I am on game chips under gadgets. I'm on the second page. Now we are going to other chips, um, object mapper chips, we're going to need two of those, place them right next to these chips here. And we are also going to need an animation gizmo, so it's under the gizmos category, and it's the very first one you see. And to pair with the animation gizmo, we're going to need a variable chip. So the variable uh, the variable chip, sorry, is under math chips. And variable chip is right at the bottom. And we're just going to put those there. So there's going to be one more thing we're going to need for chips. And that is the clamp gizmo. Which is under gizmos. And it's on the top line, second one in. So you can place them about right here. And that's all we need for now. So now you can create the thing that you will need to grab to obtain your game passes. This could just be a simple cube, a rectangle, it doesn't really matter. You can be creative with it. You don't have to do what I, what I do exactly. So just make a simple object if you just want it to be easy. And you can either write your own text using squares like this like yeah if you know what I mean or the more preferred method is other gadgets it's on the very last page a third page and it's the very first one you'll see which is just text so just put the text right on top of it and then on your maker pen go to configure so once you're here, you'll see all these message boxes. We want to go into the very first one that says message zero. So you can go ahead, select it, delete everything, and whatever your game path wants to be called, put it in there. So let's just do fly, for example, since I'm sure most people want to learn how to do that. So we have fly there, and we also just do VIP. I do the ones that I showed in the beginning. That's not a cube, I apologize. And now, uh, done editing. And you do not want these to be the same object. If you do have these as the same object, then it just won't work. It would act as one game pass, and it will mess up all the circuits to it. So, with that being said, make sure if you... Come to this one, 
whatever highlights green, make sure that one doesn't highlight green. That's a simple way of how you can test to make sure they're two separate objects. So we're going back to other gadgets under gadgets category. Last page again, text. I'm just going to place that on top and then configure on your maker pen again. You're going to select text, message zero, which will be the very first one you see. Delete that and again type in whatever you want your game pass to be. I'll do VIP. And once we do that, we're going to need to go into configure again on your maker pen. But this time select the cube the text is on. We're going to need to change it to decorational and to grabbable. And on top of that, we're going to need to scroll all the way down to tags. It's about halfway down the scroll menu. And put a tag on it. To keep track of it, I'm going to put the tag as VIP. Make sure you press the plus or else it won't add the current tag. And do that to both of them. But make sure they're not the same tag. So I'll go over it again. So under physics mode, it's at the very top. Select decorational, then grabbable. Then scroll down about halfway to where you see tags, and put the tag fly. The tag can be whatever you want it to be, but you just have to remember it in the future. And now we can go ahead and wire up the um, game pass, like the game pass objects, to your clamp. Now it's you have to wire it in a very specific way, so follow me very closely. So select your text first. It should look like this once you select it, and you'll see sort of like a wire attached to it. Attach the wire to the very top of the clamp to where you see the tip of it highlight green. You do not want it attached to the base because that will cause future issues, and it will just not work at all. So make sure it's at the top. You'll be able to notice it because there's a wire to it. And then select the Q part and put it to the bottom. And with that being done, we can go ahead and give it a trigger volume. So you need to go to Open Palette. And it's on the very last page of Other Gadgets. Looks like something like this. Now you want to make sure the entire thing is inside of your trigger volume. After that, we want to configure the trigger volume to keep track of objects. This is where the tag comes into play. So since this is fly and we gave that the fly key, we're going to put in only detect objects with the tag fly. And we can wire the trigger volume up to the clamp also. So select the trigger volume with your wire and do it to the very top of the clamp also. Do not wire it to the bottom. Again, it will not work if we do that. And now we can do the same with VIP. So select your text. Again, to the very top of the clamp where the tip highlights green. And then select your cube and um, wire it to the bottom of it where you can see the rest of it highlight green. And now, another trigger volume. If this ever happens to you, you see I have a wire selected, but also trigger volume, but there's no trigger volume. Just select something else, then reselect trigger volume. And then again, make sure the whole thing is inside your trigger volume. Go to configure on your maker pen. Select the trigger volume. Keep track of objects. And only detect objects with the tag V... IP since it's VIP and I gave the cube the tag VIP. So now I just need to wire the trigger volume up to the top again. And now we got that all wired. So now let's go over the animation gizmo. This is very simple. All we're gonna need to do is so you wanna Put your maker pen sort of inside the trigger volume until you see the square highlight again. And once you see it highlight, come down with the wire and put it directly on the tip. Sort of like the loop of the um, animation gizmo. If you did it correctly, you'll see object added to animation on your screen. Do that to both of them. So again, you want it, your maker pen to go 
just write in until it highlights your game pass object and wire to the top object added to animation now to make that work we're gonna need red to red on the variable chip wired over to animation gizmo now go configure and click on your variable chip now just add one to the R signal and that's all you need now you know it worked correctly if you can grab onto it as you can see and then let go and it goes right back that's not needed but it's definitely required for having so so nobody can just run around you can't lose it in the wall there we go so now we need to um, create our rules so I have them over here already but I'll just delete them so it causes no issues so once I have the two roll chips here, it has three people on him with the, um, it's almost like a butterfly sort of sideways. But once you find that, it should say new rule at the bottom. Go into configure on your maker pen and select it. Now you want to modify the roll name. This is what you want your roll to be called. So our first one can just be fly and then edit roll. And you want it so you can fly. And that's all you need to do for fly. And then for VIP, depends on what you want VIP to do. So for now, let's type in VIP in all caps since it's an abbreviation for very important person. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can make it so VIP also comes to fly. So it's almost like a better value. So more people are interested in paying a bit more extra tokens that's something that I found out in my days of making maps and yeah you can change all these things to give to your VIP you can make it so they walk faster you can make it so they jump higher it's up to you it's your imagination your game I won't tell you how to make your own game so now we need to wire everything up. So when entering, so we want the red arrow on our trigger volume. We want to bring it down to the object mapper and select and wire it to the red part. You'll know it's wired correctly if the wire is red. And the object mapper is the one with a cube that has an arrow pointing to a player. Now once that is done, we need to wire green from the object trigger nope the object mapper and wire to the red of the roll mapper basically what the object mapper does is it tells this ship who is currently holding this object so we do not want it on red because that's the last held player we want it on currently holding player and wire it to player so now once we have that wired up we need to configure the Roll mapper. So once you have configured again, selected on your maker pen, select the roll mapper chip. Now under modes, it's at the very top. We're going to want to add player roll, roll mapping. And since this is fly, we're going to add the roll fly. Make sure to X out of it, or else it would not save. And we need to do the same for VIP. So again, red arrow to red on the object mapper and then green to red on the roll mapper. So now again, configure the roll mapper to add roll and roll mapping VIP. Now X out of it. Sorry, I do not know what's happening with my tracking. Now if you wanna make a button that removes your roll, it's very simple. Just go into um, props dynamic and grab yourself a cv1 button and then go back to gadgets go to game chips it's on the second page of game chips and roll mapper chip and then wire when button is pressed to red on the roll mapper configure the roll mapper again 
then remove player role this time and select whichever role you want to be removed whenever pressing the button. We'll do fly for now. So unless this has any issues, I should not be able to walk in here. Yep. So how I made this VIP room, is I took an invisible collision and I reconfigured the invisible collision so it's disabled for the role VIP. And you can find the invisible collision in your palette if you go to other gadgets and it's right on the bottom. So now let's test our game passes, make sure they work. So just grab on to fly, and now you can fly. See if this works. That I found doesn't work all the time. I know there's a better way you can make it, but it's not needed because once you leave the room, it will automatically take away the roll. So once you come back, just re-grab the roll, and then it'll give you a roll again because you don't. Once you pay for it, you do not have to buy it again. But now let's test our VIP. Let's pick up the VIP. Now we should have VIP roll, and it should let us walk right into the VIP area, even though this is an invisible collision. Now I'm going to show you how to make a key so you can put on your game passes. So once you open your maker pen, I mean your watch menu, go to this room, go to the settings, and select keys. It's the third one in from the top. Again, it is required you have Reckon Plus for this. So once you have Reckon Plus, you should see this. We're going to press add key and key name. Let's have it just fly for now. Key description. Put whatever you want. Make it so it tells you about your game pass. Make sure that it doesn't tell any like false information. So f just make it simple. You can fly. And I need 10 characters. So I just like put a few dots. And the key to cost, it can be from 10 tokens all the way to 10,000. We want it to be reasonable, so let's say 50 tokens. Now let's save that key, and let's make another key for our VIP. So let's scroll up to the top, give it the name VIP, and then for a key description, it could be access to VIP area. And let's just say that's 25 tokens. Again, if you wanted to give VIP fly to make it a big, um, better deal, you can make f um, VIP 75 tokens. So now when you go to pick it up, I did that wrong. I forgot to configure it, my bad. So once you have the keys, as you can see, go to configure, and like we did before, Select the cube by inserting your maker pen just a tiny bit into the trigger volume. And now, bring this closer to you. Scroll down and to see room key options. Now lock pick up with a key. And then, it will show you all the keys that you have. We only have two. So now select VIP and X out of that to save it. Okay, so sorry about my tracking right now. Anyways... Do the same with fly, so insert your maker pen just a bit till you see it highlight. Scroll down until you see lock pick up with the key. And then fly. And now if we go to pick it up, you can see we need to buy it. So once you buy it, say 50 tokens, but since I'm the rune owner, it will say buy zero tokens. And now we have purchase fly, and now we can pick it up. Same with VIP, let's test that. And it works. Now once you buy that, you can now pick it up. And that is everything you need in this tutorial. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I will be making more tutorials. The next tutorial will be uploaded tomorrow. It will be about the CB2 light bulbs and how to use them in four different ways. Um, the ways will be just a simple button, a toggle button, a trigger volume, and then at the end, I'll show you how to make a random flickering light bulb using a random chip. So yeah, I'll go. I'll show you guys the circuits one more time, just to end it off on a good note. And thank you guys for watching my tutorial. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Hopefully this helps.